two of them in particular. The one that's creepily Instagramming me. <laughs> and the one over there. <laughs> It's called an ode to those. To the roommate who drags the Christmas lights into the bathroom at three in the morning when everything is black and I don't have to ask, we're both drunk as fuck. And I ask him to turn the lights off and I ask him to take his clothes off and we stand in the shower side by side, our elbows smushed up on the grimy window ledge and we gaze out at the abandoned garbage lot aside our duplex. And he asks me to picture it, he asks me to picture it be anything I want it to be, and I say I see a mountain, and I say I see stars, and that trash-ridden gravel is a fluid blue lake. And I rest my head on his shoulder, and he laughs, and we make up scenery until the dawn breaks, and let the shower prune our skin until we've taken it all in. And there is love in him, and it is abundant. To the roommate who can sing nonsensically at the top of her lungs in our dirty kitchen, wearing nothing but a towel and her crazy eyes, the guy asks her to marry me, but she always denies. Although deep inside, she knows it's worth a try. <laughs> do I look okay? Do I look all right? She looks beautiful, but she puts up a fight. And in the morning, her eyes are a shadowy black, and she's holding up her cat, holding back a laugh. And she shares her upset of nights prior and days past as she bites her fingers and raises her voice. And I ask her to be quiet, and she calls me a cunt. There is love in her, and it is abundant. <laughs> to the three of us who have made this house a home, who never take the garbage out, who never wash the dishes, who leave the lights on and the doors unlocked and the music beating through the house, who grinds the coffee beans in the blender, who throws up in the shower, who has sex out of the sink, who has had too much to drink, who never gets down on their knees and sucks adulthood's dick. There is love in us and it is abundant. Yeah.